In this video I'm going to share with you my top four tips for using the outliner in Maya and at the end I'm also going to share with you some of the shortcuts that I find extra useful in the outliner. Tip number one is how we can split the outliner into two sections. So with the outliner open if you hover your mouse at the bottom on this dotted line you'll get a double arrow click and drag upwards and this allows you to split the outliner into two sections and then you can focus on different parts of the outliner and you can also click in one section and then control click a different object in the other and you can also middle mouse drag from the top to the bottom to rearrange your outliner easily. Tip number two is how you can colour coordinate the outliner. If you select a group or a control or anything in the outliner, you can give it a color. So if I select this control, for example, open up the attribute editor and on the first tab, toggle down the display, you can then check use outliner color. And then you can select any color that you want. And then if I just deselect that, you will now see that that's red. So it just helps you to visually organize your outliner. Tip number three is how you can unhide something that has been hidden in the outliner. So you might have had something hidden by accident. You might get a scene from someone where they've hidden it on purpose. In the outliner, in a blank place, if you right click and choose display, ignore hidden in outliner, that's now brought back any objects that were hidden from the outliner. My object wasn't hidden in my viewport, it was just hidden in my outliner. And then what I can do is I can then right click on the object, go to hide in outliner, unhide, and that will turn off the hidden in outliner tag. And then I can right click display, turn off ignore hidden, and it's back there. Tip number four is using the search bar at the top of the outliner. We can filter things using this search bar. So that's why it's really important to name things and to have solid naming conventions. Anytime something is in a group, I always call that group GRP. So if I wanted to isolate all of the groups in my scene, I could just type GRP and I know that they're the groups in my scene. I could probably find the one that I wanted. If you have something that you're not 100% sure the exact name of it, I'd use asterisk, and then I could use pin, and then I could use asterisk again. And what that's now done is filtered anything that uses the name pin. It doesn't matter what's before it because I've put an asterisk or after it because there's another asterisk and that has filtered that through. And then I wanna share with you some bonus shortcuts. So. You're probably all aware what the shortcut F does when you're in the viewport, it will focus on something, but you can use it in the outliner as well. So I've selected something in the viewport, I just hover my mouse over into the outliner and hit F, and that is going to frame the selected object or objects in the outliner. Another tip that I wanted to share is if you have something selected, so I want to select my trunk and I want to inverse the selection to select everything but that, you can use Control Shift and I and that will select everything that is unhidden. So it hasn't selected the hidden elements, which are the grayed out ones, but that's selected everything else. And then if I want to switch back, it's Control Shift I. Another one that I use a lot when using the outliner is Control Shift and clicking on the little plus icon. Control Shift click on the little plus will open up the group and any other groups that are inside. If I Control Shift click on this little minus and then I open this again, you can see that they're all closed back up. If you have any other outliner tips you want to share, please do drop them in the comments for everyone else watching. And if you have a favorite one, please let me know.